Well, on the bench again today is one of my ICOM 775 DSPs. Now, the reason why it's on the bench again, and this is the same radio that I had an antenna tuner issue with that uh, wouldn't tune on uh, uh, 15 and 10 meters. Turns out it was uh, an issue with the tuner itself. I got the parts now, but I basically just swapped out the antenna tuner with, a one, that, with one that works. The problem I'm having with the transceiver now is that it's off frequency on AM and FM. Uh, it's fine everywhere else. I happened to be chatting with a buddy of mine on, uh, on HF last night, and we were uh, bouncing back between, uh, between modes, and he told me that I was transmitting a tone when I was on AM. He recorded it and played it back for me, and I said, yeah, the thing's off frequency. So I uh, took my other 775 over there and uh, went to the same frequency, terminated everything into dummy loads, and sure enough, it was off frequency by 500 hertz. So I was a little bit puzzled. It's a DDS a VFO, so usually there is no separate adjustments for those. Those are determined by the DDS itself. And it turns out, yep, there is. There is a, uh, an FM oscillator adjustment. Why there is one, I don't know. But uh, you know, I guess uh, the guys that designed the radio said, well, you need an FM oscillator adjustment. Because this is apparently also affects AM as well, but we'll find out. Because uh, FM and AM are identical off are identically off frequency by the same amount. So my guess is that that adjustment is there for whatever reason. It affects AM. So let me get this sucker opened up, and we're going to see if we can uh, if, see if we can get this adjusted correctly. Alrighty, for this adjustment, we need to adjust L22. Uh, we set the radio up on 20 meters, 14.1 megs, which is where we have it now on FM. Cut it into my dummy load, I have my tap installed, and we're going to use the uh, HP 5334A for our adjustment. And. Here is the component we have to adjust. So I'll just put the radio in transmit and make the adjustment and we'll, yeah, hopefully it, everything will be fine. So here we go. Well, that's about as close as I can get it within a few hertz. It jumps up and down a little bit. You make the adjustment, it goes too low. And so I'm gonna call that good. That's, you know, yeah, I'm jumping up a little bit there. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to just call that good. That's a lot closer than it was. It was a good 700 hertz before. So, yeah. I, uh... Oh, sorry. Dump. Bump into that thing. So, yeah. Okay, well, I guess uh, we are finished with that adjustment. So, yeah, one of these things, and it's off frequency... For some reason so now we're gonna i'm just gonna just double check it here with my other transceiver to make sure that it's uh, on frequency all righty here we are on 20 meters so now when i go into transmit on fm there's no beat tone at all before there was a significant beat tone there so that worked now, let's go to AM and check the same thing. And there's no beat tone there either. And there was before. So, there you go. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, why there would be a frequency adjustment just for those, just for that mode that, <laughs> I don't know. So cool. I'll uh, put the thing back together and slide her into place and uh, we'll double check it again. Okay, now I have this set 500 hertz high because this is how it used to sound when that was on double zero. It would sound like that on AM. And it's not supposed to do that. So, we made the adjustment and now, so when I transmit on 14.1, it is on the money. So, yeah, okay, there we go. So anybody out there has one of these rigs and uh, you have this issue, that's all you have to do to fix it. 
Anyway, Santa Claus left this for me, and I plan on uh, kind of doing a, a video on this radio. I'm still learning all of its functions. It's it's very it has got a lot of expansive coverage for satellites. So uh, yeah, once I uh, you know can drive it a little bit better, don't look like a you know a freaking moron. I'll uh, I'll do a kind of a review on it. But anyway, I think this is it for today. I'm glad I got this. I'm glad there was you know nothing really wrong with the radio other than just needed adjustment. Uh, I had bought this radio used, of course, and uh, it you know didn't really perform the way it should. So I think whoever was in it last just either didn't know what they were doing or uh, just used uncalibrated test equipment and just you know didn't do it right because uh, it used to have a, uh, a sticker on the side of it that if you broke it, it would void the warranty. So I had been sent to somebody for some for some work, but uh, they certainly didn't do a good job. Anyway, I think this is it for now. I uh, will catch you guys later on down the road.